Hello and welcome my amazing creative friends Oksantia here again. Uh, today I have a time lapse for you based on my love of succulents. I absolutely love succulents. I have a little collection I will be showing you soon and I created a fabric collection of repeat pattern designs in Vector in Adobe Illustrator and I can't wait to show you how I did it. Here are some of my succulents. I have quite a collection and some of them are actually blooming which is very pretty. So cool, I am loving these and I'm working on making more of these because I love these pink blooming ones. And over here on this side I have more that some finished blooming already, some are just starting out and I'm kind of growing my collection slowly. Look at that pretty flower over here, I love it. So the first thing I did was to design uh, elements based on the sketches that I drew. I didn't draw them from any particular succulent in my garden. It was more of an inspiration from my succulents and I just sat down and started drawing freehand and based on my imagination and some photos from my garden. So then I inserted those sketches into Adobe Illustrator as a separate layer and then I started drawing with a blob brush with uh, two thicknesses, uh, two different thicknesses and I adjusted the thickness as I went. So I uh, sometimes redraw a few times but I kind of draw in a rough way uh, with some bumps here and there and I like to clean it up later on. So you can see that's just my progress of drawing based on the sketch. I adhere pretty closely to the sketch. I don't necessarily wear too far from the sketch. Sometimes I do though. Sometimes I have an inspiration to draw something else and um, as a rule, I tend to just draw pretty uh, close to the sketch that I created on paper. And by the way, I do recommend always to keep those sketches and photos of your sketches uh, together in one folder. Uh, a paper sketch, keep the paper sketch and keep the actual photo of the sketch or scan of your sketch in um, the folder on your computer together where you're going to keep your um, pattern. Now that I have all elements sketched out in a rough way, I actually take my one of my favorite tools in Adobe Illustrator, which is the smooth tool, and smooth out the details before coloring. And at this stage, I start coloring using the paint bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator. I uh, tend to select the colors as I go, and this one is actually based on my Oxantia brand colors uh, that I like to use as a start start for uh, my first patterns. I, as you will see later, I created some uh, colors as I went for different patterns and I changed up some colors at the very end as well. So it is a bit of an organic natural process for me. I don't necessarily use any specific rules, but I do like to use my brand colors. And here is the last element being uh, colored and I kind of stuck with purple. Uh, then I did some blues, I got some greens and then in the end I added a little bit more purple as you can see here. And this one is almost a uh, purplish pink so I kind of colored all the insides without leaving anything blank inside of all the pieces of all my elements. So then I cleaned up the elements and uh, grouped them together so that I can move them separately as you can see here. I played a bit with the background next and just decided to keep it white. And then I started arranging the copies of my elements and saving the file as I went so that I have sep elements separately and I started working on a new file where I copied the elements to and started arranging them in a scattered composition as you can see now. 
So uh, again, a scattered composition is one of my favorite and I absolutely love putting these together. It's like a puzzle for me. Some, there is something Zen about just putting together the elements. It can be frustrating sometimes, I have to tell you, of course, on some days it just doesn't look good. But uh, as I created more of that pattern and then I tried a few different compositions, and then I tried a dark background and then I tried a almost like a geometric layout with, of two of the succulents in this purplish pink color. So it was so fun to create a few different types of patterns, uh, the color, some color versions and a few of matching supporting patterns based on the elements that I initially drew. I like to create at least six to nine, sometimes ten uh, designs out of my set of elements. And I do go back and sometimes reuse some of the elements for other patterns if they fit the style. But in this particular one, everything is about succulents, as you can see. It took me a little while to adjust and make uh, this uh, pattern work, but now you, you just saw I used a script to crop my uh, pattern tile. And then I, on the right side, I am using my actions that I created for myself. And they are a part of my Pattern It Up online course. And as I give them to my students in the course and I teach how, how I use them and how I uh, create it and speed up my process with these actions a lot. So I test my patterns on these big circles uh, that are also uh, speed, uh, are sped up by my actions that I self-programmed, kind of created in Adobe Illustrator. They speed up the process so much. And here I decided for some more geometric and just different layouts, I decided to use my Magical Pattern Layout online course uh, templates that I uh, teach in the course and I give to my students in the course actual Adobe Illustrator files. And you can see that it took me just a few minutes to actually um, create these matching coordinating patterns. So this layout was almost entirely created by my template. And uh, this is the invention I created based on symbols in Adobe Illustrator uh, that helps you to insert your elements and then voila, you have your layout. Of course, I still adjusted every single one of them a little bit. I still move them around a teensy little bit and just sometimes they uh, no, don't need any adjusting. But in this case, I did adjust a little bit, almost always uh, it's needed. I saved every file in a separate file folder. I tested every file with a circle and I saved a swatch uh, to be used for actually selling my designs. And then I created a separate file just for myself with all of these patterns together in one place. Um, I think I left out a few color versions, but uh, for the pattern collections, I just filled it with a few different designs. So after I was done with my designs, I uploaded them to Spoonflower. It is a website where you can have your own shop and sell your fabrics as a repeat pattern designer. And I have for many, many years now, I am not working for Spoonflower in any way. I am just a user and uh, this is part of my process. So I'm sharing it with you today. So here you can see some of the patterns already done and I actually uh, love how you can actually go to each pattern and see these mock-ups here on a pillow, on a close-up fabric, on a like a blanket, throw blanket and a duvet cover. You can also make the scale of each uh, element larger or smaller on spoon flower as well, which is pretty awesome. And here uh, is the result over on my fabric shop where I sometimes buy my own fabric, but uh, as a rule, I actually uh, proof my designs, I get my designs, uh, test them out, and then I, they're available for sale in my shop. So you can see how different designs actually look on a few different products and on a close-up of fabric, but I absolutely love, they also have these uh, products 
um, mock-ups of pro different products where you can see how your design is going to look like when you click on the curtains for example you can see how the curtains would look like and then here the same for this geometric succulent pattern and here is the bedding uh, with my light blue pattern right here Today you saw a timeless of my pattern collection. I uh, hope you found it inspiring and if you did, please hit that like button on this video if you liked it and please share with your creative friend if you think somebody will find it uh, inspiring too. And as always, I have a super cool uh, freebie with every video and today's freebie is my free webinar of three secrets how I created a lifestyle business as a self-employed textile designer. I do hope you check it out. It's a free webinar for you to study and I have packed it with awesome tips. So uh, the link to go to the webinar to watch it is in the description under this video or in the corner of this video as well. Also subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more repeat pattern design and creative business videos uh, coming and I will see you in my next video. Bye!